everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Elle and on this channel I talk about music and everything I learned in my life journey as a musician. realize that in every concert we have people coughing, especially in between the movements, hysterically. Since we are living in a time where we are very cautious and sensitive about people around us coughing more so than ever in history, I was intrigued to look into why people cough so much in classical concerts. Even in my personal experiences, I had times that I got urges to cough in the middle of the concerts when in daily life I was perfectly healthy and never had to cough. So I thought maybe there are some psychological or physiological reasons that made people want to cough in the concert hall, such as the psychological pressure to be quiet or the controlled humidity in the concert halls. However, in my research, I couldn't find good reasons in those areas, but I found a very good paper by an economist, Andreas Wagner, that explains the coughing phenomenon of the classical concert in a very interesting lens. So I'm making this video based on his research paper and I will put the link to the paper in the description box below. So here are some reasons why people want to cough in classical music concert. It is a fact that we have a higher rate of older population in the concert hall and they tend to have weaker respiratory conditions which lead to a lot of coughing, as well as weaker cardiac conditions. And some of the medicines for cardiac conditions actually entail the side effects of dry respiratory system. So that also leads to more coughing. So that's one reason. But we still love you. The fear and the scarcity to be able to cough in the future. So since we all know that we have to be quiet when the music is playing, our subconscious forces us to feel the urge to cough or clear our throats whenever we can. However, according to some medical experts, coughing is actually a controllable bodily reaction. So there's no need to fear that you will be in a situation where you cough uncontrollably in the middle of music. You can actually have it under control. It is an intrinsic human desire to participate in music making experience. If you think about primitive societies, if there was a music, it was always a communal experience. It might be a religious ritual or a social ceremony or a laboring song, but it's all communal. Everyone was expected to participate regardless of their musical inclination. However, in the modern classical concert etiquette, which is developed after the 19th century, now we have a clear separation between the subject and object of music making. The performers are supposed to make sound and the audience is supposed to quietly listen and appreciate. So for the audience, coughing is the only safe way to express their existence in this music making experience without getting blamed for disrupting the performance. Everyone will be understanding of your bodily need to cough. And for the same reason, coughing can be the expression of your dispreference for the performance. During the performance, the audience cannot yell, they cannot just get up and leave. The only disruptive behavior they can do without getting blamed by everyone around them is coughing. And there's this experiment in sociology by Pennebaker, which counted how many times people coughed while watching different parts of movies. And the research shows that people cough more frequently in the parts that they found boring or difficult to comprehend. And the same phenomenon happens in classical music listening as well. People tend to cough more frequently in slow and quiet movement or in contemporary music, which is hard to comprehend. So in a sense, we can draw a statistic that coughing is some sort of expression of their dispreference or discomfort. However, if you are a performer, you will need to be bummed about 
being coughed at because other researches also show that if somebody coughs before everyone forms their opinion about the performance, people will likely to follow the domino um, effects of coughing because naturally we all have the sociological desire to conform with the leading opinion of the group and the person who coughs first is subconsciously considered as the leader of the pack, I guess. So in reality, being coughed at doesn't really say anything about your performance quality. In his paper, Wagner says that people express their social identity by coughing in their concerts. Concert etiquette is fundamentally an externality of the 19th century bourgeoisie culture. So depending on how you socially identify yourself, you are going to either comply with the rules or defy the rules. For example, if I identify myself as a part of bourgeoisie culture, then I'm gonna try my best to hold down my coughs until the end of the performances. But if I identify myself as someone who despise that kind of culture but had to attend the concert just because my mom made me to, then it's more likely that I'm going to get an urge to cough hysterically in the middle of the quiet, slow movement. Because that is a clear expression of my opinion about how I think about the social rules and expectations. Thus, my position in this social structure. In fact, many orchestras have been trying to ease the strict concert etiquette in an effort to reach out to modern audience. But also there are some counter arguments that say this uh, new trend of casual concert going is bringing some sacrifice in the quality of classical music listening experience. But the point is, it's almost impossible to have a concert without somebody coughing. And now imagine attending your first post-COVID era concert and people start to cough hysterically between the first and the second movement. The first concert that you attend after the COVID era would be the scariest and most risky concert attendance that you will ever do in your life. Well, hopefully scientists will find good solutions that can cure and prevent this COVID virus so that the performing arts industry can reopen and everyone can enjoy the live music happily and safely again. And that's it for this video. Thank you for spending time with me today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!